Hey guys, Panther0822 here. We are going to get into the next installment of Deponia, which is Chaos on Deponia. I was hoping to actually get a cool splash screen or something that I could, uh, that I could do for this, but unfortunately I didn't, they didn't give me that opportunity. So, anyways... I'm hoping everybody's having a happy Wednesday. Middle of the week, so. Also not one of the All right, there we go. Sorry, I was pulling this up on a different device so I could actually look at it because I've got I gotta have the guide over on my right hand side. Because this is a point and click adventure, and the likelihood of me figuring out what I need to do, as evidenced by the last game, is, yeah, moderately non existent. So, alright, I'm gonna come here, gotta reload the page. Hopefully, all of the Windows fuckery is done. I was trying to do some uh, hard time with the panther. And unfortunately, um, because there was a Windows update, the computer was being a pain in the ass, so... I wish the Deponia music was still playing right now so it wasn't just dead air. Um, okay. Oh, there we go. It was just taking its sweet-ass time. All right. Let's get this shared out a couple places, then we'll get started. So based off the guide from the first game is that this one literally takes, it starts at that point. That's where this game starts. So there's no lapse in time or anything to that effect. So we should be starting exactly where we left off. Um, there may be a little ex explanation of some things and things like that, but, um, all right, yeah, computer's actually behaving the way that it's supposed to be behaving, so that makes me happy. Sharing a group. All right, hopefully this channel doesn't. I joined some pages, and, uh, what the fuck is, uh, uh, all right.
Dealing with a little bit of bullshit, so sorry about that. All right. All right, so I've got an Android tablet. I don't mainly just because of finances and what. Okay. Got a few other places here to share this out, and then, like I said, we'll get started. Um, overall, I really enjoyed the game. The first game was actually fantastic, so I'm looking forward to playing this one. Um, looking to kind of see how the storyline itself progresses. I like the storyline for the game. The storyline for the game is uh is fantastic i might have already posted there but i don't remember so nothing wrong with double posting to the same thing all right one last place and then we'll get started each i minute and there we go there's the awesome music all right there we go let's do it Oh. Huh? What's this all about? Isn't that Ms. Hinkle's junk press? No, that's the junk press from my trawler. You need to help me fix it. Yeah, but it looks exactly like Ms. Hinkle's junk press from the tutorial in Part 1. So what? Who's going to notice? Those who played Part 1 don't even need a tutorial. Yeah, but I bet they're going to play it through anyway, because they just can't get enough of me. Count me out. I'm definitely not going to suffer through this whole tutorial thing again. I mean, it was stupid enough the first time around. Ah, uh, come on. <coughs> repetition can't hurt. Then how do you explain this blister? That is where I burned myself when I repeatedly put my hand on a hot stove. You never learn, do you? Oh, contraire, I have a, a nearly photographic memory. Do you now? So, do you remember how to use the interface in order to talk to someone? Yes, of course. I, uh, uh, um... Go ahead. Talk to me. Just point the cursor at me and left click as soon as the speech balloon icon appears. No prompting! <laughs> I'm I am very thoroughly amused, but sure, why not? Uh, talk? 
to Bozo. You don't have to say that aloud. Hey, who's talking to you? Hello there. You clicked on me. Yeah, and I regret it already. But you see, there's nothing left here that you could teach me. You don't even know, um... Okay. Oh. How to talk to somebody. But you just did that. You left clicked when the speech balloon appeared on the cursor. Are you sure? Wasn't it perhaps the insanely handsome Rufus head icon? No, the speech balloon. The head icon is only used for eating, drinking, and putting on garments. Which really should happen more often. But now, let's come to the all-important question of... <laughs> Oh, all right. I need to pull my guide up. Too many Christmas. All right, let's. How to look at an object. But I already know that. I see. And how? I point at it with my mouse cursor and right click when the eye icon appears. Nonsense. That's not an eye. It's a ping pong ball. With a pupil? Yeah, it's loaded. Why would they use a loaded ping pong ball as an icon for the action examine? I'm about to demonstrate that using the small object lying on the ground over there by pointing the cursor at it and right clicking as soon as the ping pong ball appears. I'm holding my breath. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? It's the reactor lead head. But it was a cathode plunger in the last game. It's the lead head, believe me. You need it to repair the press. And how exactly am I going to do that if I can't even pick the thing up? Sure you can pick it up. Just point at it with the mouse to make the hand icon appear. Then left click to pick it up. Oh no, this has to be easier. <sighs> huh? Where'd it go? <laughs> you put it in your inventory. You know, where all your items go. You pick the thing up. Now use the mouse wheel to open the inventory. All right. I'm honestly just playing this part through because I find this part hilarious. Hey, there it is. Exactly. Now this is your inventory. I knew that. Here you can view all the stuff you're lugging around. You remember how to do that, don't you? Look here, Bozo. I fixed the part. I won't believe that until I see it in operation. I know. My handyman skills are really incredible. No. No, they're not. But okay. <laughs> All right. It looks like a yin yang. That goes somewhere else. I just wanted to see if you're still paying attention. Uh-uh. <laughs> it fits. Next you need to... Hey, you don't have to spoon feed me. I'll manage the rest. Whatever. When you're ready, you need to... Hold your horses, will ya? It's just a button. I think I can manage without your help. Rufus, don't. You're standing right under the... Don't panic. You don't think I'd fall for the same feeble gag twice. So, yes. uh, what was that again? I pushed this button here, and then... Didn't look all that feeble to me. <laughs> they came out of nowhere. With their cruisers, plasma weapons, and mechanical beards. Organized. They took our village by force. They left nothing behind but tears and devastation. They were looking for gold and Elysium, the girl that fell from the sky. And only one person was prepared to save her. He woke her up, contacted her fiance, and took her to the Lower Ascension Station, only to learn the shocking truth once he got there. Cletus, Gold's fiance, wasn't acting out of love. 
he had an agreement with Ulysses, the mysterious leader of the Organon, and Argus, his right hand. They needed the Ascension Codes, hidden away in Gol's brain implant, and they wanted to erase her memory. They wanted to make sure no Elysian would ever know that our world is inhabited. For their goal was terrible beyond imagination. They wanted to blow up our world. But they had failed to reckon with the one. He swapped the cartridges. And he restored Gol's memory so that she could bear the truth to Elysium. The name of this one man, this selfless hero, was Rufus. Um, that wasn't the whole story, was it? That was the first part. I think it's going to be a trilogy. Sounds a bit unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievably cool. But if it really all happened like that, shouldn't I be on my way to Elysium with Cletus? So what are you doing here? Where is Cletus? Why am I unable to remember any of this? And forgive me for asking, but... Why is there a burning saw blade stuck in the side of the ship? Oh, uh, that. Oh, well, I was about to get to that part. So listen up. <laughs> You're being pathetic. Began about accurate bacteria in the fridge. It's getting boring, but packing bags due to that he sucks ice through to clamshades rim order some anodons gone. Then I explicated, are you still not persuaded? The scratch growing on your time panic membrane. Remember to pull yourself, sacrifices and oh gosh, not to start all over again. To start all over again. Well, I hope I actually got a screenshot of that. Trash. Trash. And more trash. Isn't it adorable? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Hard to imagine I ever wanted to leave here. Ah, Rufus. This is the lad I was telling you about. What? Him? From what you told me, I had imagined a smart young man, not a filthy bum. There's more to him than meets the eye. When I first met him, Rufus was still a... How shall I put this? Just say it. I was a self-indulgent slob, but I'm steadily improving. That's right. Right now, for example, he is helping Bozo to get the trawler shipshape. So I am. I was going to ask you whether I can borrow your hammer. No problem. You can take it from my toolbox over there. Thanks, Doc. You're the best. All right. Still don't know, really. Something just doesn't seem right about that boy. But Grandma Utz, whatever are you talking about? Hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Okay, let's see here. 
All right, so yeah, we're gonna open the tube. We want hammer. Didn't you tell me that he suffers from an exaggerated opinion of himself? <laughs> Those days are over. Rufus has learned a lot. He is much more careful than before. Sure. Aren't you worried he might steal something? I trust him completely. Okay. <laughs> Rufus seems like a brutal thug to me. Rufus? Brutal? <laughs> Never. go uh. all I'm saying is that he seems very clumsy <laughs> your fears are completely groundless Rufus has become very careful since his last adventure what if he suddenly blows a fuse? Believe me, those days are over. No, no, they're not. All right, so the hammer is. Somewhere. Uh. Hmm. If that's all true, then he must have turned himself around 180 degrees. That's how it is. As if someone installed a power inverter in him. All right, I still need to find the hammer. Um, where did the hammer help? I just hope he doesn't turn my whole house upside down. He's just getting a hammer. How much damage could he possibly do? the hammer no we've got a tablecloth fire shouldn't give John Thomas too much to drink under any circumstances. Well, if that's all you're worried about. Something like that can kill a little bird. Rufus isn't going to drown your bird by accident. <laughs> sure, sure, Doc. We'll, uh, we'll go with that. Um, I don't have.
have the hammer. Push this thing. Push button. Okay. He would ask before he used my water supply, wouldn't he? Absolutely. Good. Good. I have to get by on what I have until the end of the month. have me convinced but there is one thing that still worries me he had better not clog my garbage disposal the blades are so sharp things are always getting caught in there oh grandma you worry about the silliest things okay use a tablecloth on the water sink which we just did use sink Garbage disposal button. Uh, that's if I can find it. If you promise me that he will be careful, then everything is all right. <laughs> Just as long as nothing happens to my John Thomas. Promise. Uh... Hmm. Then I should apologize. I suppose your Rufus really must have improved. Well, what do you know? Here it is. Have you found it at last? Uh, yeah, sure. It certainly took you long enough. I hope you didn't leave a mess. Me? No way. But enough chit-chat. Bozo's waiting. Just relax, Rufus. It's not like anything's on fire. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. By the way, what's that funky smell? Rufus, have you gone completely off the deep end? You almost set Grandma Utz's heart on fire. All for a good cause. You committing suicide? No, I'm traveling to Elysium. But Rufus, we've been through all that. I thought you would finally become reasonable. Become reasonable? I am reasonable. And that's exactly why my plan is gonna work this time. What plan are you talking about? Well, what does it look like? It looks like a madman's attempt to refute the principle of action and reaction. Close enough. Goodness gracious me. As soon as I step on these bellows, the cork will hit the three targets one by one. In a spectacular chain reaction, this will cause the rockets to be lit and the safety rope to be cut. I have calculated everything. Just watch and learn. Oh, and keep away from the falling blade if you want to hold on to your fingers. <laughs> All right, let's step on the bellows. Take a good look. Rufus, no! Ah, uh-oh. Doc, that's not a good place for a nap. The Bunsen burner could boil away the water in the vase any minute. And when the scales pan goes up, it will trigger the guillotine. The fuse is already lit. Doc, are you listening? Wake up! Oh, what a bummer. Save Doc or go to Elysium. Save Doc or go to Elysium. Darn it. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I think I can reach it. Oh, not quite. Must be because of the wind. Actually, it should have held. All right, let's see here. Step on. Uh, 
All right, so we need to step out the bills, which we did. Oh, step on can handle. And there we go. Whoop. Oof, perfect body control as always. And then we're going to use the knife. On. This. I can scratch a little black powder out of there. That shouldn't affect the flight characteristics of the saw blade, should it? <laughs> <laughs> that tickles. Okay, and then we're gonna step on the panhandle again. With the right momentum, I could catapult the black powder into the air intake of the bellows. Easy and totally realistic. Step on bellows. This is going to end badly. The flames, it could ignite the gas. And then hmm, there's bound to be an interesting chain reaction whose outcome is very difficult to predict. What am I waiting for? <laughs> oh, it worked. I saved Doc. <laughs> Rufus, Rufus. Huh? What? You haven't answered my question. How did you get here? I just don't understand. That's because there is nothing to understand. The whole story is nothing but one big filthy lie. Almost as filthy as Rufus, but not quite. Cletus? Of course it's Cletus. Why would that surprise you? I am not the one who barged in here uninvited. I have come to save my planet. Well done, moron. Gole and I had reached an agreement. I was trying to keep the existence of the Deponians a secret from the Council of Elders so that Deponia could be exploded, but Gole convinced me to tell the truth. We were just about to save Deponia. The escape pod was taking us to Elysium. Now it's useless. We're not going to make it to Elysium, and the Council of Elders will never learn about the Deponians. Bravo, Rufus. That was a stroke of genius. Don't listen to him, Gole. He's lying through his teeth. I don't know. His version does sound pretty convincing. No, remember, he's lied to you before. The Gole that I know would never have let him get away with it. That's because you only know one part of Gole. The part that is naive and idealistic. The goal that I know is a fighter who will stand up for what she believes in. But there is a third part as well. And that part sides with me. Isn't that true, Goal? There is no third part. You tell him, Goal. I... I just don't know. I, I can't remember a thing. Of course you can't. Thanks to this flea bag's brilliant intervention, your brain implant has been damaged. It's a habit of his. I I'll fix it! Don't worry! You still don't get it, do you? We have no use for you here. If you really want to help gold, then jump. We're directly over the ocean. With a little luck, you may even survive the fall. No! No, this isn't right! Oh, come on. Do what is best for gold. All right, why is, sorry, this bar is bugging me. It should be hiding, which means there's something keeping it from hiding. Oh, ah, screw it. Do what is best for gold. Uh, all right. So we reach the escape pod. 
glow on the dusty badge five times. Uh, that looks like an injector seat. Huh, there's still dust on the label. A shrink ray. <laughs> That's even better than an ejector seat. One. Wait, there's more dust. Awesome. Two. A bear. That's my favorite so far. Three. Huh, must be the ejector seat after all. Four. And again, the shrink ray. Five. The bear. I like the bear. I better not blow again. Okay. Complete the opening act. Uh, let's see here. Edge five times before pressing the button. Okay. I'm what's best for goal. No, don't. Ha. Uh, nothing. Why? I wonder if. Uh oh. You idiot! Goal! No, 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 no! You blasted idiot! Cletus, help me! Hang on! Don't panic! I'll come and get you! Somehow! Do you finally realize the damage you're doing? Cletus! Don't panic! I'll get you! Why don't I do everyone a favor and kill you right here? I'm coming, Goal! Hang in there! Where do you think you're going? I'm on my way! Watch out! The rope's going to break at any moment! What are you doing? Did you really think you could get away like that? Say bye-bye, Rufus. Cletus! No! Cletus! Ah! Ah! Oh dear, what have I done? I still can't believe he really did that. No need to worry, really. He's just like a wombat. He often falls, but he always lands on all, uh, um, all the others. I know. What is that noise? Ah! What the? Goal? Ah, uh, don't be silly. If that were goal, the next we could expect... Rufus? Rufus. Ouch. <laughs> Everything's ready for detonation, Bailiff. Acknowledge, Chief Blaster. Anything else? Are there no new instructions? We could start the countdown now. I appreciate your eagerness, but this is not a training maneuver. This is about destroying the zone around the Rust Red Sea, before we blow up the entire planet. I see, Bailey. Stop interrupting me! I know very well what is at stake here. Do you think I wasn't aware of all the implications? It is true. Inspector Cletus has not yet reached Elysium. We can only guess what kept him, but as long as there is still hope that he will complete his task, we need not worry. Until then, I don't want to hear about any countdowns. Do you understand? Yes, I do, Bailey. Cletus is going to succeed. He will convince the Council of Elders that there is no sentient life on Deponia. And, if he should fail, then we shall see to it that the planet is indeed uninhabited. Uh, dismissed! I have too many worries of my own to deal with your moral misgivings. So get out! Out, I say! Y uh, yes, sir. Where the devil is Cletus? You were asking?
tales feature cool depictions of saw blades crushed into cable boat walls. The attempt is all blunt stunt, affected goals and planned, which surely can't be blamed on Rufus at all. Reckoning up the sun, the best was yet to come. For the end of part one seemed a little too coarse, and to amend we'll send him to attend a second chance for a decent happy end in the grand fling with dancing and booze and so forth. with booze and so forth. I think I ought to fire my chiropractor. Doc? Huh. We seem to have docked. But where is everybody? Huh. A note from Bozo. That old pirate. Good morning, Lazy Bones. Doc took gold to his office. Huh. Finally, someone who uses his brain. She wasn't feeling all that well. Yada, 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 blood from her ears, blah, blah, blah. You can find me in the tavern. Tavern? Now that sounds promising. Huh, there's something else. Don't forget to go and see Doc. He needs your help. <sighs> Why can't they ever manage without me? Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you didn't keep screwing up, we wouldn't be in this mess. All right, let's take a look here. Okay. So, based off of what the guy's telling me, the majority of the game actually takes place here. So... Alright, so we need to dig in the trash. I would love to claim that I don't rummage around in trash, but who am I kidding? After all, this is Deponia. Blah! Slimy. Oh, that is disgusting. No, I've had it. I simply do not belong here. I... Wait! What's this? Hey! That's my old anchovy bait. It's still good. Okay, so we did that. Alright, so we're gonna exit the trash crawlers. Let's do that. Ah, nothing beats a fresh breeze from the sea. The smell of freedom and adventure. And tar and toxic chemicals. And Tony's mother? Shh! 
You're scaring the fish. Ugh, rotten fish. Close enough. But this native presents a welcome opportunity to make use of my cosmopolitan tactfulness and my linguistic skills. Me, Rufus, where I find lab belong to Doc. Are you talking to me, ape man? We put maps up for people like you. Ah, you mean heroes passing through? I mean people we prefer not to talk to. Hey, just so you know it, I have an excellent sense of direction. I don't need your stinking maps. So what you looking at it for? I'm not looking. I'm just shooting it a contemptuous glance. Oh, Doc's office is in the industrial park. But where's the tavern? Ah, oh, well, who cares? I guess I'll go see Doc first then. I can look around the town later. First, I have to help Doc get Goal back into shape. Can't have the old coot grabbing all the credit for himself. First, I have to help Doc... Can't have the old coot grab... Okay... First, I have to help... Doc Can't have the old coot... Uh, okay. Here, so we exit the trawler, we speak to the fisherman. Visit the industrial park. Enter backyard. A lot of this. Entrance. All right, so we started a bozo ship. Bozo ship only leads to one area, which is the fisherman's thing, and then from there we can either go up Gulliver's Gully. Ah, okay. So if we basically go straight up and then to the right, we'll get the docks thing. So from here, I think we need to go this way. I can look around the town later. First, I have to help Doc get Goal back into shape. Can't have the old coot grabbing all the credit for himself. I can look around the first and okay. have a This is gonna do me any good? No, it's not. Alright. Try going this way. I can look around the town later. First can't have the old I have to get to dock. Not a chance. I can't let anyone past. Oh, you can let me. I'm accredited. You don't need accredited, do you? I would know about that. I don't care what you know or don't know. I'm not going to let some wind-up flea circus get in my way. And I'm certainly not going to let you correct me. No way. Far be it from me to correct you, sir. Unless, of course, you consider a bitten calf a correction. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, okay. I'll put this so that even you understand it. Oh. 
Why didn't you say so? He did say so. All right, are we gonna get the same? Okay. Uh, let's see here. We did that. We exited the crawler. Speak to the fisherman, which is an auto scene, which we did that. Fit it industrial park. Okay. I think I'm missing something. Let's try going up. For some reason, it's not letting. It's telling me I can explore the city later. So. We gotta go back down. All right, so that's the dog. According to the delivery note, the crate contains a replacement airbag for the canal gondolas. I'm wondering if I've got to go through docks, but I wasn't seeing another way through. I can look around the town first. Can't have the old. Um. Let's see what we can figure out. White, of all things, the wet blanket among colors. I wonder if I can use the bait on the dog. Hey, look what I've got! Ah. Look what I've got! And now, be a good dog and fix the stick! What's wrong? Fetch the stick! Or are you too stupid? Yes, exactly. That's it. Fetch that stick. Hmm. No. You go fetch that stick now! Atta boy! If you're so fond of that stick, why don't you go get it yourself? And if you're a good boy, I might even let you pass. Ugh. All right, let's play the game. Go on. I just threw a stick and you are a dog. So 
What do dogs do in a case like this? I wait for you to make an even bigger fool of yourself? No, wrong. You fetch the stick. Or are you too stupid? Wait, wait. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. You didn't really just do that, did you? <laughs> I, I can't take it anymore. All right. Oh. Hey, look what I've got. And now, be a good dog and fetch the stick. What's wrong? Fetch the stick. Or are you too stupid? Yes, exactly. That's it. Oh, come on. I know you like sticks. All right. I think enough is enough. Please forgive me for yanking your chain. So will you fetch it now? I'm afraid I can't. I am programmed to stay in front of this door. But if you fetch it for me one last time, then I'll let you pass. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Wait, wait. I'll show you how it's done. But pay better attention this time. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> What a cute little doggy you are. I beg your pardon? My name is Cleverbite. I'm an autonomous, cybernetically highly developed service unit, programmed to perform complex security tasks. Cleverbite? Oh, such an amusing name for a robo-dog. I will not suffer such indignities. Through the neuronal connection of computer circuits with organic cerebral matter, I am capable of processing more than 3,000 floating point operations per second. Can you sit up and beg? Perhaps not, but I could sit up and grab something until you beg me to let go. You know, you've got quite an attitude for a cyber whatever mongrel, but I'm pretty sure that your bark is worse than your bite. Do you hear me barking then? Uh, I don't know. All I can hear is me, 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 nerdy ramblings, me, 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 me. I'll ask Doc to make you a cyber muzzle. To do that, you would need to get past me, right? <laughs> I'm not going to allow some stupid mutt to block my path. Actually, I'm a superior cybernetic. Let me show you who is superior here. Interesting. Okay. Um... Are there things here that I can...
stupid mutt! What? You're giving up already? How disappointing. Okay, well, I'm giving up because... I need to grab some things. Frank... Electrical tape. Alright, so we're gonna combine... Stick. An electrical tape. Creating insulated stick. Have Rufus throw and fetch itself a couple times. Counts towards a super cool achievement. He's insulated. He Okay. Hey, look what I've got. And now, be a good dog and fetch the stick. What's wrong? Fetch the stick. Or are you too stupid? Yes, exactly. That's it. Fetch that stick. Hmm. Oh, no. I needed to use it on the lamp. Let's go fetch the stick. Might help wait, if I wait. actually. I'll show you how it's done, but pay better attention this time. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Okay, so they're supposed to be... Oh, clamp. <laughs> exactly. That barking trash can may think he can shock me, but I'll show him what a shock... What, well, I'm when, when the shock... I mean, what, what the, what the shock... Oh, whatever. Some ingenious pun with shock. <laughs> shock. <laughs> because of the electric shock and, and, and so on. Oh, come on, Rufus. You don't need a punchline to be brilliant. Okay. Do we use the... Use it in his... Uh, on the lamp. It... Our charge stick. Use the charge stick on clever bite. Okay. <laughs> now he's in for a nasty shock. Hey, what's wrong? Are you giving up? Yes. You were right. This stick business is just too much for me. You stupid muddy cur! Here, like this! You put the stick in your mouth... <laughs> oh boy, I can't take it anymore! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Oh boy, 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 oh boy! Okay, that did the trick, evidently. Uh, do I need to... Okay.
Hey, Doc. Rufus. At last, Goal really almost bought it this time. But, as I can see, you have everything under control. I'll, uh, go look for Bozo, then. He mentioned a tavern. Her implant has been badly damaged. I need to operate right away. There is only one problem. The data cartridge is not going to survive the procedure. I take it that's a bad thing? Well, yes. Her entire mind is stored on the thing. Her memory, her character, the ascension codes. I can save the data, but I need a bunch of empty cartridges. And these cartridges are hard to obtain? Mm, not really. This is the floating black market, after all. There's nothing you can't get here. And brain implants are currently all the rage. I installed another one just the other day. You will find the cartridges in the gadget shop. What? Why me? Because I need to get ready for the surgery. And I need to familiarize myself with the local circumstances. Bozo said something about a tavern? Rufus. All right, all right. So I get those cartridges in the gadget shop? It's right by the harbor, outside the city gate. Just have them charged to my account. But make very sure that you get the good cartridges. The cheap ones are bound to cause problems. Well, it's your money. Okay, so I'm having a hard time processing, so I might just check that automatically. Take screwdriver from counter. There is a screwdriver around here somewhere. There it is. Okay. Exit back to the outer street. Talking to the three headed platypus behind you. We've been watching you. We know what you're planning. Oh, yeah? Seems like you know more than I do. News spreads fast in the floating black market. You've got something very valuable there. It mustn't fall into the wrong hands. And your hands would be the right ones? Let's just say we're friends. We're the good guys. We fight against oppression by the Organon. Death to the Organon. The Organon is planning something. Something unspeakable. So unspeakable that we cannot talk about it. We've got to go. We've already said too much. But we'll be back. And then we'll get what is rightfully ours. Do not talk about this to anybody. Keep your back to the wall. And do not forget who your true friends are. Death to the Organon. Death to the Organon. What was that all about? No idea, but I think that's a good note to leave this on. So, all right, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching. It's been a blast playing for you.
If you're new to your channel, don't forget to hit that sub and follow button. And until the next time, I'm Panther0822. Peace out. I'll see you on the next stream or upload.